Hi guys, hey guys. welcome to our Portugal travel vlog. We're yes. going to Lisbon. Lisboni, Lisboni. So stay tuned for some seriously cool adventures. Stay tuned. It's what time is it? It's like 11 30. I'm really sleepy, I don't know why. What? 11.41. And I'm pretty sleepy, I don't know why, because we had decent amount of sleep. like, like one-ish. Yeah, but we still had like seven or eight hours of sleep. Yes, yeah, so also this is Louis, by the way. Hello, hello. It's my boyfriend. Hello. Show us your new camera. Very cool, huh? So it's flippy. Look the vlogs, guys. Tell everyone how we must have flight. No. Don't speak to you guys. I don't just want to share the good times on this channel, so that's why I'm sharing with you that we missed our flight. Even though know, we were at the gate. Well, it was one of them where you have to go downstairs to the gate. We were sitting upstairs thinking we were at the gate and then we weren't and then at some point we said I feel like we we're missing our flight. Yeah. We, you know? we live and we learn. Now we're going back home. We got put on the next flight. They didn't do the last call. They didn't do and they didn't. No one came to get us. We were literally there, but like, these things happen. But at first we were kind of not so happy. Now we kind of accepted it. And everything happens for a reason. But the thing is, just this is not the first time. This me now. I missed my flight before when I was in New Zealand. I was at the airport and I was just chit-chatting away and then I missed the uh, bag check-in but I needed my luggage so I couldn't just go. I couldn't get on the plane without that so that's why I did it. And then when I came to England I left my phone on the bus on our way to the airport. We had to contact the bus driver and it was all stressful and she had to come back and give me my phone and blah blah almost missed our flights. And then uh, one of our bags is still not back with us, even though my family's already gone back to Germany. They still don't have their bag back. And now this happens, so... Can't see you too well when you're holding it. Ah, uh, it's not a problem. It's better. It's better if you don't see me too well right now. Look my now. This is our place. This is the bathroom. The floor's completely wet because we just went for a shower. This is Elsquee. Hello. Everything's already a bit of a mess because we forgot to take a video earlier. And the best thing is the view, so stay tuned. What do you think of Lisbon so far in your first half an hour? It's good, very colourful, huh? <laughs> very, very colourful. We made sure to put on some sunscreen. This is my outfit of the day. Wearing this top, which is thrifted. This skirt, which is also thrifted. And my pink Crocs. Well, actually, this isn't even a skirt. This is a dress, and I made it into a skirt. We need to find a nice place to eat now. Today we're going to find out for you if these Tuk Tuk tours are tourist traps or if they're actually good. This is our second stop. This is St. Vincent's in charge or something. We have this little monas monastery or something here. We both think it was worth the money so we definitely recommend and if you do it as a bigger group then you pay less per person. So that's our tip. This 
place is crazy. Wow. This room was built on top of this apparently and they didn't even know this existed until this big earthquake happened in 1775 or some, some year and then they found this. The best apparently. <laughs> Just get one. Just get the same time. Yeah, I will. Oh, yours is nice and brown. Okay, ready? Okay. 8.5 out of 10. Only 8.5? Mm. Don't listen to Louis. These were 10 out of 10 for sure. Why? It's not even warm, it's cold. Oh no. Cold? No? Oh no. Oh no. It's way out of 10. One. That's not good. first matcha in this bin and maybe my last because I'm not sure there's gonna be a lot of other matcha cafes it's not the worst I've ever had because it's not that bad but it's also not good you know 